Hello, and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use Blender to make a rig for Spark AR. So this is Blender 2.8, and I've got here um, an example of what I'm talking about. Um, you have the bones, the skin, and it is weighted not very well, but change that later. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and get started here. Okay, so first we're going to go to object mode and we'll go to add mesh and cylinder. So when you add a cylinder, the first thing you're going to do is scale it up, making like an arm type thing, and you notice that it doesn't have any um, faces that are oriented um, on the x-axis. Or um, So that means that if you wanted it to bend toward the camera, toward the y, then it wouldn't be able to do that. So we want to give it that ability. Um, by going into edit mode. And we're gonna just create some more faces by doing a loop cut. So the easiest way to do this is to just click on the loop cut and then click a bunch of times until you've got a pretty good amount of faces um, where as before you didn't have any. Um, so that looks pretty good. We're going to go back to object mode. And then we're going to go ahead and change the cylinder, cylinder name to mesh, just so it's more clear. And we're going to check the orientation. So the rotations are all zero. That's great. Transformation is all zero, and that's perfect. Um, so now we're going to go to add. And we're going to find armature, single bone. And it's actually added a bone right there in the center, which is great, but we can't see it. So we're going to go to this menu right here, um, the armature menu, and to viewport display, and click in front. So now the bone is in front, and that's great. Now we're going to click G to move it. You notice how it's freely moving around. We don't actually want that. We want it to stay in the center. So we're going to click Z as well. So that was G to move it, and then Z to make sure that it just moves on the Z axis like that. And move it down to the bottom when we're facing Y. And we're going to press Edit Mode to get to the edit menu and then click E. And E is actually going to extrude the skeleton. So every time we press E, we're also pressing Z. So Z is our axis that we're making sure the bone is extruded uniformly on that Z axis. So e and then Z, E and then Z. I'm going to make them all relatively the same size. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. And we go ahead and want to change orientation. You see it's right in the center, which is great. Okay. So the bones are all placed, and we're going to now go into object mode, select the mesh, and then select the armature. So hold down shift while you select the armature. So you've got them both selected. You go back into the viewport. Go to right click, and then parent, and then with automatic weight. So this is the armature deform with automatic weight. So the armature is deforming the mesh and we're making sure that it, that mesh has weights. 
So now that's applied and you can see the structure here has changed, which is great. And we're just going to make sure that that's all correctly applied by going back to pose mode. So pose mode, clicking on a bone, any old bone, and making sure that the mesh moves with it. And it does, which is great. Um, so now we're going to select all of it. Let's go back to inspecting orientation. So this is what I was looking for. So you see the armature has now moved up on the z-axis. We don't want that. We want it to be zero. So everything must start on the transform of zero and must not be rotated as well. So just going back through and checking to make sure that is true. Great. Uh, this is negative. Change that. There. And great. So yes, everything is zero. Armature is at location zero. And the mesh is at location zero. Great. We're going to go and export Collada. And then make sure that the orientation is the same. So Y forward, Z up. Just go back here. And Y forward, Z up. Great. Export. And select here. And let's new and export. So now it's exported. Let me open up Spark. Delete this old one. And add asset from computer. And the newest one is right here. And we're going to drag it into the scene. And voila, it is correctly oriented, has all of the bones. And you could see it has a skeleton object here, um, which is what you want. And these are the armature bones. Usually I go about renaming all of this. So this would be the mesh shape. This is the root null. The uh, mesh object parent. And voila, 